it's already hard enough trying to let go of something or someone. And if you're in constant contact with it, it makes it even harder. In some cases, you have no choice, but in other cases, you do. So let's get into it. 31 days of letting go. Day eight, setting boundaries for healthy detachment. It's difficult to let go, but oftentimes we are our own worst enemy. Whether it's scrolling through an ex's page, reaching out to them for something that you didn't need to reach out to them for, or finding an excuse to still hold on to them. Whether it's for something good or for something bad, whether it's for a small excuse or just to start an argument, oftentimes the brain finds something to hold on to because it's better than not holding on to anything at all. Mm. Ways to set up healthy boundaries is asking yourself in areas that I do have control over in terms of communicating with them, you know, you know, triggering memories within my brain, things of that nature. How do I eliminate that to ultimately reach my end goal, which is my desire itself, which is peace, happiness, love, and compassion. Don't scroll on their page. Don't reach out to them. Not in terms, if you have to block them, then go ahead and block them. But don't carry a heavy heart. Lighten it up. Soften up. Lead with compassion and love. That's the only way you can let go. And if you can lead with that and your actions are followed behind it and you can minimize the exposure and contact with them, you will ultimately be setting up boundaries for yourself, giving yourself that self-respect, love and compassion you deserve, as well as towards them so that you can ultimately let go, heal and move forward. I hope this helps. Comment below the, the word, the phrase, let go to get information on my new ebook on five factors on letting go and moving on. Use coupon code HEALING to save yourself 30% off. I appreciate your support from the bottom of my heart. Let's get into the next day.